Have you ever wanted to try to do a live stream and share that live stream while you're on the live stream to your other Facebook pages or groups that you own so that you can generate more viewers onto your live streams? My name is Stacia Kennedy. I help new moms and busy entrepreneurs get fit and build a business online. And in today's video, I wanted to share with you a really cool program called LiveLeap.com. So check it out, LiveLeap here. If you sign up for it, you can click the link below here. But it's super easy and I have it set so that when I go live on certain pages, whether it's my profile page or my business page, I have certain other pages I'd like it to automatically share it without me having to do that. A lot of the times in the beginning when I started doing live streams, I would have to click the link and then share it into my other groups while I'm on the live stream. It's a little awkward and you kind of waste a few minutes there as well rather than getting right into it. When you're doing a live stream though, you do want to make sure that you're, you know, connecting with people, welcoming people who come onto your live stream. But this way, if you get this program, once you go live, it automatically will share it to your group so you're not fooling around online trying to look, you know, or not trying to look like anything, but trying to share it to your other groups so you can get more viewers on there. This will help you get more viewers onto your live streams if you have you know, pages or other places on Facebook where you have people on there who are wanting to see your live stream. So they will, will get a notification if they're in your other group. So if you wanted to, to check it out, here it is here on my screen. I wanted to show you real quick. It's really easy to, to navigate into their back office here. When you go, I'm going to show you mine here. Facebook route manager is basically how it's set. And I can create a new route. The way I have it set right now is my route name here. I can name it whatever I want, but I, my personal, from my personal to, it goes to, it shares to these other two groups and, and pages here. So you can see how my uh, pages are routed. I have different Facebook pages if I go live on these pages from so it goes share from these pages and I will share it to these other pages so when I go live on those specific pages I have it set to route in a certain way so it's simple you just click create route I'll show you how I did it and while it's loading here it'll show me all the different pages obviously once you log in as a new uh, member or you know, once uh, once you get in there, you can set it up and it'll pull pull all of the Facebook pages you own or groups. So you do have to own the pages. You won't be able to to do it if it's somebody else's page. You can go live, which is another strategy. You can go live in other people's groups if they have that available as a setting into that group. But anyways, this is how it works. You have to own the pages to in order to be to share it on these other groups. So you, you would name the, the route, so I can name it personal, or my personal page, or whatever you wanna name it. And so I want to have it. So I actually already have one already set, so it says in use, but let me see. Maybe I'll go San Diego uh, page. So I have a San Diego page, and maybe once if I go live on the San Diego page, I will click that one right here click right next to it and so it's green so I'm telling it if I go live on that page then I'm gonna click next then I want you to share it on my personal page also any other page that I you know have I can but I think I'm just gonna make it so that if I go live on the San Diego page I want it to share it to my personal page too but if you wanted to, to share it to any other groups, I have so many other groups here, then I could. But And all you have to do is just click the little link that makes the, the circle go to the right and, and turn green. So that's pretty simple. So now when I go live there on that page, it'll, go, it'll share onto my Facebook page. Um, let me show you what it looks like. So I recently went live from my phone and I will show you here. So from my phone, I have went live here. So it's just, you know, obviously it's directly posting there. But now if I go to one of my other pages, you will see 
that it was shared as well and onto my business page. Let me see. Go to my business page. Oops, why is it not pulling up? Right here. I'm just going through this way. The business manager's view it may look a little different. But you can see down here. Let's scroll down. That it was shared so you can see here it says shared your live video published by live leap so it's just shared it's not you know uploading directly to those pages but there i get a uh, you know more viewers from people who, who have already liked my page will see it and i didn't have to do a thing while i was on the live live stream uh, on my phone so it's, it's really hard to share it on other pages while you're trying to live stream on your phone so this makes it super simple. I hope this tip helped. If you like this tool, want to check it out, click the link below. Any questions or want more tips like this, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next video. Much love and aloha.